Welcome. In this session, I would like to introduce the CompuPlast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory Flat Die Module, which has been specifically developed for the design and optimization of flat type of distribution systems, typically found in cast film or sheet extrusion dies for both mono and multi-layer applications. To begin, I'm going to pick a material that I would like to use. And in this particular demo, I would like to use a rigid PVC. So I go to the main database and I select that material. Then I go to the flat die module and I go to the local material database of that module and I paste it. And now I have the rigid PVC material available to me. And I would like to demonstrate the design of a 20 inch rigid PVC sheet die. And furthermore, um, I would like to use the automatic design feature. So the only thing I really need to specify in the geometry is that the die is 20 inches wide. And I'm going to use, rather than the uh, circular manifold, I'm going to scroll through and pick the teardrop shape manifold. This is all the information that I need to enter at the moment. Then I switch to the project and I click new and I say R PVC sheet die and I click open. The project finds the last die in the list, which is the RPVC sheet die. And I select the material that I want to use, which would be typical rigid PVC. And I specify perhaps a flow rate of 120 pounds per hour and a temperature of 380 degrees Fahrenheit. In the parameters, I'll prefer to use the advanced solver to feel is the most accurate. And under temperatures, I'm going to specify 380 degrees on all the plates. Now, at this point, I'm going to go back up to the main item. And down here, I'm going to pick distributor design. And this invokes the distributor design equation here. And in this section, I'm going to put a minimum edge width of say 0.25 and a um, restrictor depth of point, say 0 0.06, 60 thou, and a critical stress, say 4.4. And um, in this particular panel, I can solve, and this goes through the optimization procedure and determines the optimum geometry that gives a good distribution. This is the geometry calculation. I accept the shape, and I can see now that my manifold shape has changed. Uh, this is highly skewed. I'll just adjust that a little bit. And I can see how this manifold performs by simply clicking here and solving the project with a new shape and we see that the distribution is plus or minus half percent, which is quite good. And the total pressure drop in the system is 1.86 or 1,860 PSI. If we look at the die, we can specify the, we can see the, the sample of the pressure, or we can, uh, and we can adjust the display, of course, to expand the results a little bit, and we can see our pressure distribution, and we see that it's quite even. Even, and if we look at the graph at the die exit, we see that the flow variation in the exit direction is indeed also quite even. If we want to look across the manifold and check the shear stress, for example, here's the pressure drop across that manifold. Along, along that line shown in the graph. We can also switch and add onto the same graph the shear stress. And we see that the shear stress value of six 
to 8, well above the critical value of about 4.3 in, uh, in that region. So that demonstrates how the distribution system has been optimized. Then we can go and adjust the other sections of the dye and the relaxation chambers and the dilates, which we'll demonstrate in a subsequent session. Thank you very much.